Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dies, and today we're going to make an offset arc scrunch pattern. For this project, we're going to start by simply folding the shirt in half. I'm using my yardstick to make a nice, crisp center line. Using a washable marker and a piece of kite string, I'm going to draw on the arc. Just ignore that blue line. I wanted the arc to be a little bit wider, so we're going to pleat up the pink line. And when you're pleating, you want to make this as straight as possible. Once you have the arc all pleated up, it's time to secure it. I'm going to use kite string for this project, but you could use rubber bands if that's all you have. It really is just a matter of preference.
I decided at the last minute that I wanted the arc to come out a little bit wider. So I ended up getting out the string and tying it past the pink line, uh, probably about another inch or so. Now for the rest of the shirt, we're just going to do a simple scrunch and I'm going to secure that with rubber bands. Now that the shirt is all secure, it's time to mark out our pattern. So using washable markers, I'm going to do that. The width of the arc is three inches, so I've decided to mark out a half inch for each color. Flip it over and mark out your pattern on the other side. This is where the offset is going to be created because we're going to put the secondary colors on the back side. And I just want to point out that the bright green lines, those are representing the gray. Mm -hmm. 
I'm using these 4 ounce needle tip bottles instead of the big 16 ounce bottles because I wanted to have more control. I wanted the offset to look more crisp than it usually does in my other projects. And I really slowed down and I took my time. I have sped this up for the sake of the video, but you want to go a lot slower with this particular pattern. On the top side, we're going to do the primary colors, which is scarlet, lemon yellow, and turquoise. And also, I'm using the lighter of the two grays on the top side. Thank you. 
in keeping with the offset, we're going to do the lighter of the two blues on top. So I'm putting the glacier blue on the top side of both parts of the scrunch. Now it's time to flip it over and dye the back side. And I'm going to add the secondary colors on top of the primary colors. So I'm going to do the deep orange over top of the scarlet. I'm going to do the bright green over top of the yellow. And I'm going to put the grape over top of the turquoise. And then I'm going to put the gunmetal gray over top of the silver lining.
Now I'm going to put the darker of the two blues, the Caribbean blue, all over the scrunch portion. So I flipped it back over to get it ready for batching and I decided that I just wanted to do a quick little touch up of the top layer of colors and then just a quick little splash of the Caribbean blue over top of the light blue just for a little bit of contrast. So it looks like I didn't hit record during the rinse out, but it's the same rinse out that I use for all the shirts. Start with cold water, increase the water to hot, put it in the washing machine, dry it, and we come back and we see our results. So here it is. And I think it turned out really cool. Uh, it was pointed out to me that the blue sort of looks like a swimming pool, and I agree. And I really like the arc. It does sort of have an offset look to it. I'm really pleased with the way this shirt turned out. What do you guys think? Go ahead and leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell for future notifications. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.